Do you have a view on why San Francisco has this reputation or uh, even in, in places like Chicago or Philadelphia or here? How concerned are you about this perception that cities like New York are dangerous? Well, we should be clear that New York City is the, the safest big city in America. Later. Say, yeah, the police department is spending all this time and resources to arrest, put a case on, and then the judges and the prosecutors say, you know what, we're going to let you out on electronic monitoring to wreak havoc again. If somebody see, musters the courage to come forward and identify the person who had just shot up their neighborhood and then sees Pookie walking bold as day back on the street two days later, what does that say to them? We can't just allow uh, our law enforcement agencies to decrease because we know what the consequences of that are going to be. We got about a, a 2,000. They get out on Monday. They doing a the stick up on Tuesday. And they totally snub their nose at the criminal justice system. And they are violent. They are dangerous. Some of them are dealing with real mental health issues. But don't be fooled that some of these folks are cold-blooded killers. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You guys seen that, you heard that, okay? Those were the black mayors or the woke mayors of the biggest cities, the biggest liberal cities in this country going off, taking a red pill on crime, calling it like it is, right? And they did this at the so-called African-American Mayor's Conference. <laughs> again, might as well be called a woke mayor's conference because again, all these politicians are woke, or at least they act woke, right? They act woke before this. Um, as again, they're, they're, they're telling the truth, okay? They, they've seen the taking a red pill on crime, specifically uh, black crime, which Apparently, you know, before in the past was something that you couldn't talk about, right? You couldn't acknowledge what was happening in our inner liberal cities, which is that um, they're quite literally being destroyed uh, by criminals, okay? A lot of whom, again, just happen to be black in these inner liberal cities, and nobody wants to call it out and to say anything about it, okay? Because, again, if you acknowledge facts and reality in FBI statistics, apparently that makes you a racist, okay? You are a white supremacist. You're a part of the KKK. Uh, you hate blacks. For simply acknowledging facts okay i have to remind you guys almost every video that uh facts are not hate speech right uh and facts are facts okay we should be able to acknowledge facts but in 2023 uh again facts are dangerous right so they must be censored you can't talk about it however again you have these woke mayors who have again seemingly taken a red pill uh and now they're again sounding the alarm on crime they're telling the truth about the crisis that we face in these inner liberal cities and in particular i want to talk about lori lightfoot uh and her basically calling out democrats saying that democrats have to tell the truth about what's going on in these cities and the criminal justice system and how they're basically emboldening these criminals again i've never heard lori lightfoot say anything like this before take a look well let me pick up let me pick up where mayor turner ended <laughs> <clears throat> As Democrats, if we do not speak the truth about violent crime in our city, we will be the worst for it. Uh, you know, and I, I come to this conversation as a former federal prosecutor. I come to this as a former defense attorney. I am the sister of a returning resident. But I know that there are people in my city that are wreaking havoc every day and need to be off the street. That's, that's reality. What do we say to not only the victims of crimes, but the people who are terrified about crimes in their neighborhoods, most of whom look like us? If we say, yeah, the police department is spending all this time and resources to arrest, put a case on, and then the judges and the prosecutors say, you know what, we're going to let you out on electronic monitoring to wreak havoc again. If somebody see, musters the courage to come forward and identify the person who had just shot up their neighborhood and then sees Pookie walking bold as day back on the street two days later, what does that say to them? You're telling them that the criminal justice system doesn't care about victims and witnesses. And if we don't call that out every single day with these prosecutors and with these judges, many of whom don't live in our city and don't care about what's happening, 
then we are going to lose an opportunity to advocate for the victims and the witnesses and the residents who just want and deserve peace. We got to say it. We got to say it. Yeah, so you know what's crazy about this? Is that Lori Lightfoot, everything she just said there was 100% true. I've never agreed with her before. <laughs> Almost anything she's upset, except to then. But the way that we got here is that Lori Lightfoot had to get voted out. Okay, she got voted out in order to actually come out here and speak the truth. Because when she was up for re-election and when she was running the city, when confronted on the crime crisis that was happening in her city, uh, she denied truth and reality. Take a look. The business experts and the crime experts that I talk to say that downtown Chicago has already reached the tipping point. You have... Uh, Get your question, sir. We go through this every single time that you come. The Palmer House. I don't, need a, I don't need a speech. What I need is your question. If you're going to ask a question, Absolutely. ask it. If you're not going to ask it, then we're going to be done and take a picture. The Palmer of House of has already, is already in foreclosure. Other historic downtown hotels, foreclosure. We have business owners that are uh, shortening their hours because their, their workers are afraid to work after dark. You went on a taxpayer-funded attack. Tax, this is a very important one, question. No, it's a very time. important question. Chicagoans are asking me to get ask you. Or we're going to move on. Absolutely. You don't get to give a five-minute speech well, every single time. I've sat here for an hour or two listening to speeches. I don't understand you, why. You the, this, this is a question that the people of Chicago want to ask. Ask the question for we're turning off your mic. Absolutely. Ask the question. Right. You went on a taxpayer-funded business trip uh, to Paris, a party in Paris with your donors. Please ask your question, William. What, no. is, the, what is the actual uh, plan now? Okay, we have crime is up, arrests are down, crime suicides, is, is up, police suicides you tell, you tell spiking. Us, what is your plan, you. finally, you at long why. last? At long last, what is your plan to, to stop Thank you, violent Thank crime? You. No, let me, let me respond. Please. Sir, and then I have a follow-up. And then I have a follow-up. Every single time that you come. And I'm not going to let you tell that lie in this in You're this saying forum. that crime is here's not... The, here's the fact. Here's the, here's the fact. If you would bother to actually look at the data that is on the police department website. Year to date, The sir, police suicides? Year to date, sir. Yeah, we are down 19% in shootings. And year to date, sir, we are down 15% in homicides. Tell that story when you go on Fox News or the other right-wing rags that you sell yourself to. I want you to tell the truth about my city, not the lies that you steal. I have a follow-up question. I have a follow-up question. Oh, I tell the truth. A follow-up question? Yeah, so it's, it's kind of hilarious to me that Lori Lightfoot, now that she's been voted out, uh, is now actually acknowledging reality and truth. But when she was mayor, when she was confronted, when she literally uh, had the same thing happen to her, that she's now basically advocating for other people to do to solve judges and DAs. Um, when she was mayor, she didn't like it, right? She denied it. Oh, no, crime is not up. May assaults are not up. Murders are not up. Crime is not up, right? She just flat out lies. So, again, you're not the person that should come up here and be telling folks, oh, well, we need to start calling out crime and telling the truth about what's happening. We need to go after these soft DAs and soft judges. Again, what was all that when you were mayor? Why weren't you talking like that when you were mayor? Why all of a sudden you got to get voted out to acknowledge the truth? Again, that's what kills me about these people, bro. That's what kills me about these people. It's like, bro, I know y'all don't lack that much common sense. I know y'all are not stupid, right? I know y'all not stupid. But for whatever reason, when these people are elected, when they're in office or when they're trying to get elected, they're so progressive, they're so woke, and then they govern the same way. And then as soon as they're out, they want to sit on their high horse and try to pretend like, oh, well, you know, I'm a reasonable Democrat. I acknowledge reality, <laughs> right? And so again, where was all this before? Because if Lightfoot was doing this from the get-go, if she was calling out the woke DAs, the soft DAs, the soft judges, the woke judges, if she was doing that, she would still be mayor. You would have still kept your job, right? You a soft on crime mayor trying to call out other people for being soft on crime when you were contributing to the problem. 
This is why you don't get no points, right? You don't get no points, okay? You don't get no credit for doing this. Too little, too late. And then we have Eric Adams, who went on this rant about how illegal immigrants are destroying New York City. Take a look. You know, we, the city is being destroyed by the migrant crisis, and none of my folks came to Washington, D.C. to, to fight you. for the resources that's yeah. going to undermine every agency in our city. Yeah, so that sounded kind of xenophobic, right? According to the left, okay? According to the left, that's supposed to be xenophobic. This guy literally just said, yeah, illegal immigrants are destroying New York City, right? They're destroying New York City. But again, if you're conservative or you're white and you say illegal immigrants are destroying the country, right? There's an invasion at the southern border, which is a fact. Uh, again, you're xenophobic, you're racist, you're hateful, right? I mean, again, you're white supremacist. You get called all these things. It's just amazing how that works. Democrats know that a large majority of their party is not living in reality, okay, when it comes to certain issues, okay, particularly far left social issues. They're definitely not in reality. And even when it comes to issues like, again, crime and illegal immigration, they're, they're not living in reality. They know that the conservative arguments are correct. However, because a large portion of their base are super woke, um, it seems to me that they can't govern in a way that they know is actually going to be good for their constituents, actual law-abiding citizens. Again, this is the same guy, Eric Adams, who tried to push a uh, a bill to allow undocumented immigrants, aka illegal immigrants, in New York City to vote while at the same time talking about how illegal immigrants have destroyed the city once he started to get a busload of these uh, illegals from Texas and Arizona, these southern states. Um, once he actually started to feel the crisis firsthand to understand like, okay, <laughs> these people really are a drag on the city and on the, uh, social safety net. That's when he actually took the red pill. But before, again, he was trying to allow undocumented folks to vote. Talking about how New York city is a sanctuary city and how everybody else that doesn't want illegals in their states or in their cities, uh, they're bigots, right? They're bigots, you know, they're, uh, xenophobic, they're heartless. They're not Christian. But again, as soon as he actually experiences the crisis himself, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, well, illegal immigrants are destroying our city, <laughs> right? We need help. We can't handle this. But Arizona and Texas, conservative states, they're supposed to be able to handle it and, and, and not complain about it, right? Again, it's just amazing how that works. Um, you know, these Democrat mayors, they get no points. They get no points whatsoever for coming out here and telling the truth. Uh, they should have been speaking the truth the whole time, okay? And, um, you know, I think that, you know, them coming out here and saying this just tells you guys that a lot of these people aren't really as progressive personally as they come off when they actually, you know, are in power or trying to get in power. Um, I think a lot of it is really them trying to appeal to a certain crowd of people who are just insane, right? Um, because, again, I know that these guys are not stupid. They're not stupid. They're actually grounded in reality in, in terms of what is happening. However, again, for whatever reason, uh, the woke have completely taken over this country, right? Everything the woke wants, they get for whatever reason. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.